Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Lindley Trends. I'm Sally Lindley, and on this episode, we're gonna chat about one of my favorite eras of culture, because I was born at the very end of it, the 70s. So the 70s are interesting because they have been in fashion for a decade. People love the 70s right now, and I think, you know, I have a theory that people love the time that they were born because their parents raised them usually on that culture, and um, a lot of the people who've been the most influential in fashion in the last 10 years were raised in the 70s or were born in the 70s. So. All that being said, let's look at the biggest inspirations from the 70s for this season. Um, on the Marc Jacobs runway, we saw a lot of 70s references, which I will put that show below. And on the Celine runway, we saw a lot of 70s references. Um, I think in both instances, even though they were both incredibly different, they were kind of looking at the women's power version. Um, a conversation, especially at Celine, always it's a power, it's a powerful woman conversation. And the 70s were an important time for women because it was the moment of women's liberation, which started in the late 60s and went into the 70s. And women's liberation, you know, to me, the biggest poster child of that whole movement was Gloria Steinem. So, you know, looking at Gloria Steinem, using her, she's in fabulous person to look at and she had, she's beautiful and her fashion was incredible and I'm just huge Gloria Steinem fan. Um, another kind of part of that women's lib movement that I think of is the whole, the novel and then the movie Stepford Wives. So even though that looks like the opposite version of women's lib, it was a big cultural conversation on the fact that a woman should be a docile and kind of quiet, obedient housewife. And obviously Gloria Steinem is the opposite and women who have been working on women's rights and women's liberation since then and continue to um, all kind of fight against that idea of a Stepford Wife. So the novel on Stepford Wives came out in 1972, the movie came out in 75, that movie has an amazing fashion, is incredible reference and definitely a big reference I think for Marc Jacobs. Um, another movie that kind of brought the 70s back into the forefront was American Hustle. I loved American Hustle. I thought the clothing was fantastic. Um, Amy Adams' clothing was amazing and Jennifer Lawrence was impeccable as well. Uh, you know, kind of going looking at this 70s moment that, you know, uh, YSL Saint Laurent did incredible 70s looks that kind of featured the disco vibe and of course disco was a big thing happening studio 54 was a big thing happening at this time and uh you know I love like Bianca Jagger in the 70s is an incredible person to look at too for this kind of inspiration and also there was you know DVF Diane von Furstenberg and her rap dress happened in the 70s so you know, and there's definitely a lot of rap dress moments happening on the Celine runway too, even though she did it in more of a 1940s kind of almost kimono-ish vibe or like menswear vibe. Um, I think that the rap dress was a highly featured moment also in American Hustle. So looking, you know, definitely go and watch American Hustle if for some reason you haven't seen it. If you've already seen it, watch it again and just completely pay attention to the clothes because the clothes were hugely influential. Prada Resort also referenced them or like the men's show also where they have women in the men show, they reference American Hustle for sure. Um, I think looking at Gloria Steinem is an incredible place to look at to be inspired by the 70s. And you know, bringing this into your own fashion or beauty brands, look at the beauty of the 70s, look at the inspiration of the 70s. It's, um, you know, graphic fonts and 70s were also great because there were so many empowerment, like exploitation films with Foxy Brown, with pa Foxy Brown with Pam Greer, and Pam Greer's whole career was all in that kind of theme of these like powerful women who were kicking butt. So it's kind of like the first women action heroes. So I love that whole movement. Take a look. I'll put my favorite links below. And yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's that women's lib. So figure out how to imply that women's liberation to your fashion brand and beauty brand. It's a fantastic powerful, um, resonating vibe for women today. So check it out. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Lindley Trends. Check you later.